Good morning, grade 11. Uh, now, inshallah, we are going to study new lesson in our module, in our chemistry session. Uh, I hope that all students enjoy with our session. Okay. Uh, so, first, our title is Reaction Spontaneity. Reaction Spontaneity. Okay. In this module, or in this lesson, we are going to uh, no changes in enthalpy and in therapy determine whether a process or spontaneous. Okay, listen, please. Section 5 Reaction Spontaneity Changes in enthalpy and entropy determine whether a process is spontaneous. After that, listen, please, to the essential questions that you are going to explain. Decision. Essential questions. What is the difference between spontaneous and non-spontaneous processes? How do changes in entropy and free energy determine the spontaneity of chemical reactions and other... Okay, so it's the question that you are going to start. Okay, uh, Khaled, Khaled and Manif, can you read please the first question? Yes, uh, what is the difference between spontaneous and non-spontaneous processes? Thanks, Khaled. Walid, can you read, please, Walid, second question? Uh, how do I change ent entropy and free energy determine the spontaneity of chemical reactions and other processes? It's okay. Thanks, my friend. Uh, to complete the vocab that we studied and vocab that we are going to study in this session, Okay, the vocab that we study the vaporization. Who can answer me what's meant by vaporization? Sin. Sin, can you uh, tell me what about vaporization? Uh, vaporization is yes. uh, when the matter changes from uh, a liquid to gas. Yes, excellent. Thanks, Jose. It's a process by which matter changes from liquid state to gaseous state. Okay, but the vocab that we are going to study now, the new vocab. Okay, listen please to the new vocab. New. Spontaneous process. Entropy. The second law of thermodynamics. Free energy. It's okay. Uh, Abdurrahman, can you read the first two new words? Okay. Spontaneous process. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And entropy. Entropy. Thanks, Abdurrahman. Nasser, okay. can you read the uh, second two words? Uh, yes. Second law of thermodynamics or free energy. It's okay. Thanks, Nasser. Uh, Energy. Now, now, inshallah, we're going to enter in these spontaneous processes. What's meant by a spontaneous processes? Okay, lesson, please. Spontaneous processes. A spontaneous process is a physical or chemical change that once begun, occurs, with no outside intervention. So, it's called what? It's spontaneous process, means is a physical or chemical change that once begun, once begun, occurred with no outside intervention, okay? No outside intervention, okay? So, who can read the meaning of spontaneous processes, Rakan? Rakan? Can you read, Rakan? Okay, Khaled Harbi. Uh, a spontaneous process is a physical or chemical change that once begun occurs with no outside in the... Uh, in, uh, intervention. Inter intervention. In intervention. 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 It's okay. Thanks, Khaled. Rakan, what is Rakan? Yes, you, Did you leave the our session? Uh, yes, I had connection problems. 
That's okay. Can you read, please, what's meant by a spontaneous process? Okay. A spontaneous process is a physical or chemical change that once began occurs with no outside intervention. Interventions. Interventions. Okay, thanks. Uh, after that, uh, listen. Many spontaneous processes require some energy from the surroundings to start the process. So, many spontaneous processes, many spontaneous processes require some energy from the surrounding, some energy from the surrounding to start the process. Okay, to start the process. After that, spontaneous process, what's meant by entropy? Entropy. What's meant by? Listen, please. Spontaneous processes. Entropy is a measure of the possible ways that the energy of a system can be distributed, and this is related to the freedom of the system's particles to move and the number of ways they can be arranged. So, is the meaning of entropy. Entropy is the measure, measure of a possible way that the energy of a system can be distributed and this is related to the freedom of the system's particles to move and the number of ways they can arrange so entropy related to what related to two section number one freedom of the system's particles to move freedom of the system particles to move as the molecules of this system. Molecules of this system of reaction to move. Number two, the number of ways they can be arranged. The number of ways that can be arranged. It's okay, after that. Spontaneous processes. Entropy is a measure of the possible ways that the energy of a system can be distributed and this is related to the freedom of the system's particles to move and the number of ways they can be arranged as is drawn this is o2 oxygen gas and he helium okay when you open this tap okay by way in a small way okay this what happens what happens there's no Nothing happened, nothing happened, okay, nothing happened, but in this what happened, they can be changed their places, can change their places, as helium was at the right side, he changed, it changes its side to left, and also oxygen gas, oxygen gas was at the left side, so it changed to right side, okay? After that, the helium, helium itself, okay, can move again to oxygen gas. And in other side, oxygen gas can move to helium gas. So it's called entropy. So it's called what? It's called entropy of the reaction. If what? Listen again. Spontaneous processes. Entropy is a measure of the possible ways that the energy of a system can be distributed, and this is related to the freedom of the system's particles to move and the number of ways they can be arranged. It's okay. After that. So, what about the second law of thermodynamics? Second law of thermodynamics. Okay, what about it? Okay, listen please. Spontaneous processes. The second law of thermodynamics states that spontaneous processes always proceed in such a way that the entropy of the universe increases. So it's called what? It's called second law. Second law of thermodynamics states that spontaneous processes spontaneous processes always always proceed in such a way that the entropy of the universe increase okay in such a way what in such a way that the entropy of the universe increases so after that 
Entropy is sometimes considered a measure of disorder or randomness of the particles in a system. Entropy means what? Okay. Entropy means what? Entropy. Entropy is sometimes considered a measure, considered a measure of disorder or randomness. Disorder or rand randomness of the particles in system. Okay, randomness, randomness of the particles in system. So it's entropy. Entropy is sometimes considered a measure of a disorder. Measure of a disorder of randomness of the particles in the system. Okay. It's okay. What is Walid? Okay, Walid. Okay, Walid. Let's go, let's complete. So it's called what? It's called the second law of thermodynamics and entropy. The more spread out of particles are the more disorder. Okay, all we agree that the more spread out of the particles, more spread out the particles are the more order or more, the more disorder. Entropy changes associated with the change in a state that can be predicted. Entropy changes associated with the changes in state can be predicted. Entropy increases as a substance change from solid to a liquid and from liquid to gas. Okay, so uh, intermolecular forces will be disappeared one after one as the change from solid state to liquid state, then from liquid state to gas state. So entropy increases as a substance changes from a solid to liquid, and from a liquid to gas, okay? Last paragraph, dissolving, dissolving a gas in solvent, dissolving a gas in a solvent always results in a decrease in entropy. Dissolving a gas, dissolving a gas in a solvent always results in a decrease in entropy. It's okay. Listen, listen please to this uh, slide again. Spontaneous processes. The second law of thermodynamics states that spontaneous processes always proceed in such a way that the entropy of the universe increases. Entropy is sometimes considered a measure of disorder or randomness of the particles in a system. The more spread out the particles are the more disorder. Entropy changes associated with changes in state can be predicted. Entropy increases as a substance change from a solid to a liquid and from a liquid to a gas. Dissolving a gas in a solvent always results in a decrease in entropy. It's okay, thanks. Uh, let's move to our uh, Magro Health site to know what's about Magro Health site. No, it's not. It's not now. It's okay. Uh, after spontaneous process and second thermodynamics, okay, entropy, the universe, and free energy. What about this? Okay, listen, please. 
entropy, the universe, and free energy. In nature, the change in entropy tends to be positive when the reaction or process is exothermic, which raises the temperature of the surroundings. The entropy of the system increases. It's okay. So what? So what? So, it means that in nature, in nature, the change in entropy tends to the positive one. Positive one what? One. Number one, reaction or process is exothermic. Entropy, entropy, okay, will be positive. If the reaction or process is exothermic, which raises the temperature of the surround as it's exothermic. Exothermic means that it produces energy. Okay, exothermic means that what? That it produces energy. So the reaction or process is exothermic, which raises the temperature of the surround, or the entropy of the system increases. Entropy of the system increases, it's okay? So the, after that, uh, listen please. Spontaneous processes. Assuming no change in physical state occurs, the entropy of a system usually increases when the number of gaseous product particles is greater than the a number of gaseous reactant particles. So, assuming no change, assuming no change in physical state, okay? Physical state, okay? Physical state, no chemical. Assuming no change in physical state occurs, the entropy of a system, the entropy of a system usually increases, usually increases, when the number of gases product product particles is greater than the number of gases reactant particles. So, if the number of gases product particles is greater than number of gases reactant particles, so it's no change in physical state. Okay? After that... With some exceptions, entropy increases when a solid or liquid dissolves in A. Solvent. So... Uh, sure, sure that there is an exception. Okay, with some exceptions, entropy can increase when a solid or liquid dissolves in a solvent. Solid or liquid dissolves in a solvent. Okay, so the entropy can increase. What about the random motion of particles? The random motion of particles of a substance increases as its temperature. Sure. Yeah. Increases as the random motion, the random motion of particles, random motion of particles of a substance increases as its temperature increases. It's okay. So all these nodes related to what related to the entropy. Okay, listen to this statement again. Spontaneous processes. Assuming no change in physical state occurs, the entropy of a system usually increases when the number of gaseous product particles is greater than the a number of gaseous reactant particles. With some exceptions, entropy increases when a solid or liquid dissolves in A. Solvent. The random motion of particles of a substance increases as its temperature increases. It's okay. After that, uh, entropy, entropy, the universe, and free energy. What about?